Were you aware of this? Uh, Congresswoman, as I said, I haven't seen the photos that you're holding up uh, before. Maybe, well, I posted them on my Twitter account. It's, it's public. You know, maybe I you don't guys spend are, a lot of time on Twitter. Well, you know, you, you sh oh, I'm sure you do, because the Department of Homeland Security, organized with other offices, has censored many Americans, including myself. I'm not me, part of the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, right, Mr. Ray, you should, you, should be, you should be interested in investigating terrorism. Now, look, I know that stupid isn't contagious, but I still wouldn't want to get too close to Marjorie Taylor Greene just in case. Here's what I can't quite wrap my head around. It's not just that Greene has no idea what she's talking about. It is the confidence she has coupled with the fact that she has no idea what she's talking about. If I was as ill-informed as Marjorie Taylor Greene was, my priority would be to, oh, I don't know, talk less and listen more. But Greene's strategy is a tad different in that her priority is broadcasting her ignorance to as many people as humanly possible, which is um, one way to do it. Notice too how she claims she posted the image on Twitter and that clearly, because every government official spends all day scrolling Twitter like she does, that he had to have seen it. First of all, even if it was on her Twitter account, something tells me that the FBI director doesn't follow her, considering I was on her page for all of three seconds before scrolling past gems like this one about how there are only two genders. Weird how Christopher Ray wouldn't want to voluntarily subject himself to a barrage of the dumbest things that one of the dumbest websites has to offer. But second of all, it really does betray the entire incentive structure for Green and the rest of these modern Republicans. They truly believe that they are there not to govern, but to build their brands. They don't want to help their constituents or lower prices or bring in jobs. They are there to be social media stars. They don't want to serve their constituents. They view their government job as a way for their constituents to serve them. And so for all these Republicans who wail about government waste, I challenge you to find anything more wasteful than $174,000 per year in salaries to fund the social media careers of legislators who are not only failing to govern effectively, but can barely keep the government open. Just this week, Republicans introduced yet another spending bill to keep the government open, and it passed with 127 Republican votes and 209 Democratic votes, meaning the only reason that the government will stay open, assuming the Senate passes the bill and Biden signs it is because the Democrats actually care about governing and so they swooped in and saved Republicans from themselves once again. If it wasn't for the Democrats, our government would not function, period. And by the way, I spoke with Speaker Pelosi about exactly that point in this week's interview. What does it say that we are being brought to the cliff of yet another government shutdown under Republican leadership? Yeah, well that's, uh, see if you don't believe in governance, you're okay with this. You know, when we had the three weeks of no action on the floor because we couldn't even, uh, the House was not in order, we didn't have a speaker. They were okay with that because they don't believe in governance and they don't believe in science. And so if, science, if, if we're having fires and all these na natural disasters and saying we must do something about it, well, you're talking about governance for protections and science on the basis of science, that the two no's do not make a yes. So when they talk about, um, when they, I've not been down this path with them before, they, it, it, it doesn't bother them to have a shutdown. Having said that, it is my understanding that this new speaker does not want to start off with a shutdown. And of course, to watch the full interview, it's on the interviews playlist on my YouTube channel. But the point here is breaking government. And so lest you think that Marjorie Taylor Greene is an outlier in the GOP, think again. She may seem extreme, but she is the natural culmination of a party that exists to create dysfunction. She may be a little bit dumber than everyone else in her conference, but the end results of her actions are exactly the same as the rest of them. Dysfunction takes many forms, but at the end of the day, it is still dysfunction. And by the way, just for fun, I should note that this isn't even the only absurd thing that Greene has said today. Here she is trying to give a lesson in civics to Democratic Congresswoman DeLauro and uh, doesn't go well. And we are here tonight making petty and vindictive, introducing petty and vindictive amendments that demean the individuals who hold these positions and once again demean the dignity, the stature of the United States House of Representatives. I urge my colleagues to vote no on this vindictive amendment, and I yield back. The gentlelady's time. time is expired, and 
gentlewoman from Georgia is now recognized. Thank yeah. you, Mrs. Chair. Uh, my Democrat colleague across the aisle, who's 80 years old and has been here over 30 years, just said we're on the verge of a shutdown. Uh, she probably just forgot that a few hours ago she voted for the continuing resolution uh, that will extend the budget, and we are not on the verge of a shutdown. So I just wanted to note that for the record. It may be that the gentlelady doesn't know that there is another body attached to the U.S. Congress called the United States Senate, and they have to vote on the continuing resolution. And when they vote on it, we'll find out what it is that they do with regard to this continuing resolution passed by the House, which, quite frankly, is flawed to a fare thee well, flawed to a fare thee well in meeting our obligations both domestic and international. And by the way, it isn't a law of the land or that until the President of the United States signs it. That may be a basic level, in, a lesson in civics. There is the House, there is the Senate, and there is the President. Oh, to be that dumb and that confident. It must honestly be freeing. So look, I get that the so-called moderate Republicans out there would love to lean on this idea that people like Marjorie Taylor Greene are just outliers in the party, but they're not. This is what you get when you elect people who do not believe in the fundamental purpose of government. They may sound different, they may present themselves differently, they may be less boisterous than she is, but the end result is the same. You are left with people whose sole priority is to destroy the very government they are charged with running. But here's the thing, if Marjorie Taylor Greene is so intent on making herself famous, then I'm happy to oblige. And I'll do my part in showing the rest of the country who you're actually empowering when you vote for Republicans. Because it's not the elusive moderate you're empowering, it is the Marjorie Taylor Greens of the party. It's the extremists who have shown us that far from being able to actually govern, they could barely land on a speaker. And if it wasn't for the Democrats, not once, not twice, but three times now, the government wouldn't even be open. Again, even from the minority, Democrats are saving this country from the dangers posed by extremist Republicans. So since Marjorie Taylor Greene is so intent on being the face of that party, we should all do our part in making sure that she does in fact become the face of that party. And as we head into 2024, after watching the electorate reject Republican extremism in 2018 and 2020 and 2022 and just now in 2023, let's see if her big plan pays off. Because something tells me that what America is looking for right now is not the circus that is Marjorie Taylor Greene. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.